Greetings fellow engineers and welcome here on Tartarus Inc. Today for the first time we are taking a look at a ship that is not built by me but by Gag, which in my opinion is one of the most talented builders when it comes to small ship grids. So I thought I'd just quickly show you around his newest build which is the Kimura. But let's take a look at the exterior first. I really love the detail on this one and the use of windows, which you can find in various spots and which lighten up the inside very nicely. Also, these grills everywhere add a very nice touch to the whole look. But the thing that I like most about the exterior are those freaking huge turbine propeller kind of thrusters on the back. He did a really good job on designing these and they give a ship that little bit of extra something to make it unique. Also, we have two 50mm cannons on the side, which are actually turrets and can be controlled separately. A small front gun battery with 23mm guns on the front and a cargo access from the outside sealed off with his little hangar doors. When we are taking a look at the back, the first thing you will notice is the elevator with his little ship on it. This little, as he says, recognition ship is very compact but maneuvers pretty well and is definitely a great addition to the whole list of features. It makes exploring your surroundings much easier, stealthier and you don't waste a ton of energy. So good job on that one. When you press this little button right here, the elevator process gets activated. What it does is playing an alarm sound, raising the elevator itself and controlling the door to be shut when the elevator is down and to open when the elevator is raised. Also it locks the elevator automatically. Now to the interior. It's very clean and provides a lot of room and comfort for a small crew. As said by Gek, it's meant for a crew of three, which totally makes sense considering the amount of actual seats and stations. So here we have a bathroom, complete with toilet and sink, and he even put a toilet paper holder next to the toilet. That's what I call detail. On the other side you have a shower, and to show you his level of detail, you even have a drain and a place for your towel. When we proceed, you can see the sleeping area with one sleeping space extra. Could come in handy when the lady for special activities is too tired to go home or simply can't walk anymore, but that is a story for another day. Here we have the two gunner seats, which you can control the big turrets from. But to do so, you have to make sure that the weapon systems are activated from the cockpit. Also, those seats are spinning. Next to the gunner's area, you can see the reactors, beautifully arranged behind glass. Also you have some assemblers and a little medical station to get yourself some band-aids. The cockpit's overall look is very detailed without looking too cramped. Everything is very clean and easy to reach and access. I like that. Now let's enter the real man's seat, the cockpit chair. First off you have to go into flight mode by pressing 1. Then press 1 again and watch the magic happen. Hello Captain. Man, I like those stuff. But let's go on. By pressing 2, you activate the landing gear process, which again is fully automated. I really like that, even though I prefer locking the landing gears myself, but that totally is a matter of taste. So let's try out the chip and see how it flies. It is indeed very maneuverable for a ship of its size and the acceleration is awesome. So nothing to complain about here. Now for the last part, let's fire off the weapons. First we start off with the front guns. Very high rate of fire and a setting firing sound. Now let's switch seats and try out the big ones on the side. I don't know about this one. It looks awesome and the rate of fire is very nice but the sound is a little bit thin for my taste. But again, my taste. Okay, that's it for my little showcase of Gex Kamura. I definitely suggest that you check it out. The link will be in the description. It is a very well crafted and functional ship. What is your opinion on it? Write it down under the comments. And I hope to see you all next time and until then and as always, keep on engineering and cheers.